Welcome to the big idea. Right now in your life, if you're not doing what you love, I think you know it. You may keep up a brave face, but deep down, you know there's something else that will be more fun, more exciting, and you'd probably make more money doing it. Now, I'm not telling you to do anything crazy, go in and quit with your boss, but if you're one of those people who wants something more, the time may come when you got to walk into your boss and say, I'm out of here, like my first guest, a man of many pockets. Scott E. Vest, a clothing line with hidden appeal. Scott Jordan came up with an easier way to carry and use all his daily gear, like iPods, cell phones, books, without having to rely on a bag. His brainstorm? Clothing with uniquely designed pockets. That brainstorm is paying off with sales now in the millions, according to the company. Scott Jordan, founder of Scotty Vest. How, you How doing? are you, Mr. Jordan? Doing real well, Donnie. You know, I love it. You walk down to the set with this kick in your walk, man. You're a happy guy. Take me back a little bit. What was life like as an attorney? Well, I was practicing law in the year 2000 and uh, was a co-founder of a startup. And I was commuting from New Jersey to Chicago and trying to express my marketing ideas and ideas that outside the realm of law. So you were, you were an in-house counsel for a dot-com company? Yeah, yeah. How did you, I want to feel what, because you are one of those guys that had the courage to say I'm out of here, but I want to, what did it feel like going to work every day? A job, did you love the job? Did, was it boring? Obviously you didn't love it. Was it, were you depressed? Was it just, oh, because I want people at home to maybe say, wait a second, I'm feeling like this guy used to feel, and if, if we hit that nerve, then they got to do something. You know, there were some aspects I liked, but for the most part, it was very boring. You were dotting I's and crossing T's and arguing with other lawyers and really didn't have an opportunity to contribute much and grow a company. So when you were sitting in bed 10 o'clock the night before you got to work the next day, what was the feeling? I've had enough. had enough. I've had enough. I want to contribute. And, you know, it was a big risk at the time when I uh, said the famous words, I'm out of here. But, you know, I, I, I weighed it and said, I'm either following this path or I'm going to do something original. I, I got to tell you, man, it is the ultimate thing is that people think it's risky to go out and do that thing. It's risky to stay in something you're unhappy. That's, that's the ultimate risk. I mean, that's like done. You lose. And so you used to you sit on it. You were commuting. Uh, back and forth, and how'd you come up with this idea? Well, uh, I would commute Monday through Thursday, and I'd look all around at, at, at all the other business travelers. Everyone's carrying a cell phone, a digital camera, their keys, and all these things, dressing in a business casual environment. And I, I, I thought there's got to be a different way to do this, to carry this stuff. You need a, a, a laptop bag or a man purse just to carry all the things you had. The and old man purse. <laughs> exactly. That's, 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 that's great. Uh, uh, Brandon, one of our uh, production folks, carries a man purse. Is that right? That's another show. Go on. Right. Um, and actually, you know, my wife, I have to not, give Not, by the way, not, not that there's anything wrong with man purses whatsoever. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Okay. My, my wife, I have to credit, Laura, I kept handing her more and more things to carry as we went on walks and hikes, you know, carrying my phone. And before long, she says, you know, I don't have to carry this purse or backpack, but for all the things you're handing me. So why don't you come up with a different way to do this? And we said like a fishing vest or traveler vest or uh, travel vest, but they had all these external pockets and you look like a dork. So we decided together that this would be an idea worth exploring. So you come up, this is, this is, the, the vest and tell, show me what you got in here. This is uh, uh, this is a, <laughs> this is a brand new model. It's okay. called the Evolution. Has 25 pockets, removable sleeves. I get the sleeves off, and uh, oh, I wait, have, these are sleeve. They're sleeves that are removable. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. This so is a jacket. a jacket. I thought it was a vest. Well. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. it started as a vest, Good and, then, right. and then it evolved into a jacket. So tell me what you got in there. Well, you know, I've got a water bottle. Okay. <laughs> I've got. I've <laughs> the got clowns a CD. coming out of the Volkswagen, yeah. right? I've got a digital camera. I've got my, I've got, and everything is layered so that the pockets are not bolted. Yeah, you didn't I've look got, like you had anything in no, there. No, I've got a GPS device. It's like very James Bond. Uh, oh, we sell to the Secret Service. They discovered it. This is brilliant, us. man. You know, in case I wanted to read, I've got a little reading material here. I've got my iPod here, right. which I can control right through the fabric. This is brilliant. This is great. If you're and a guy then, who's into your gadgets, which half the world is, just keep going. I don't mean to. Oh, no, and we have a patent for the incorporation of wires in clothing. So we were the first, even before iPods were invented, to come up with a way to wire, route wires in clothing so you can accommodate them. That's fantastic. Here's my Blackberry. And then fantastic. I have my 
I have a magazine in here in case I want some more reading material. I, I cannot I believe what this up. guy's pulling up. I have magazines, books, blackberries, uh, telephones. Travel documents. I got my sunglasses. I can go on. I also have a camel back in back. It's amazing. Uh, you know, I've loaded it up to an extreme. I we we should have put you in there. There's got to be a better way, segment because <laughs> this is a better way. I want to go back, though, before you, you launch this thing, that moment where you walked into your, your, your company you're working with and said, I'm out of here. I, I got something better than this because that's the magic moment. That's the moment of courage. Well, you know, at that time I was uh, telecommuting and I, I did it via email, I believe, and just said, you know, it's just not working for me. And, uh, you know, he asked me to continue staying on with the company at a halftime, a partial rate. And I was happy to do that because I really wasn't doing that much, you know, uh, you know, full time. How did it feel after you did that? Oh, so relieving, but nervous. I was scared. I mean, because at that point, I wasn't sure whether I was going to go back to law, right. follow this idea. You know, this was one of several ideas. This was the one that I chose to, to do. So, you know, it was scary, but, but scary, liberating. Good. Liberating. liberating. Absolutely S liberating. Guys, scary is okay. Anything worth anything is scary. You know, you, you're going to venture, you're going to take off that, that dive off that cliff, that first cliff dive. Of course, it's scary, but it's exhilarating also. The worst thing that could happen is I, I, I fail at what I was doing. I can always go back to practice law. Once That's you right. have a, a law license, I love you it. can I love do it. that. So how'd you get this thing off the ground? You know, I just got a factory in China, ordered... What do you mean you just got it? Because a lot of people at home say, well, you know, you tell these stories, and what do you mean you got a factory in China? You're well, a guy, a lawyer, you, start, you didn't know anything about if that. If you start to tell people about an idea of making clothing in China, before you know it, everyone knows someone who knows someone who yeah. knows someone who can help you get that product made. Well, my good friend Peter Kasoy is over in China making his garments and stuff like that. And every the idea is to get as few people in the middle, as you know, because everyone who knows someone yeah. wants a piece of it. And I was fortunate enough to get a great agent in China. I've yet to have to go there to visit in seven years. Wow. Which is great. That's the other thing. People on the show go, okay, everything's made in China, but I'm not, I don't know how to get over to China. You don't even, you've been, you've, you're manufacturing stuff that you've never even been there. That's right. It's fantastic. Yeah. You're selling to Hamish, Hamish Schlemmer, you're, so where, where, Magellan's, where? the International Spy Museum, the federal government for their special ops. We do a lot of sales on our website at scottyvest.com. I love which it. Is, you're going to, you're going to blow up after the show. Because <laughs> when we put products on the show that you go, wow, it is, you're going to see a, the, what we call the big idea effect. Guys from all over the country are going to be flipping out over this thing, right? And it looks cool. Well, and it the, really the t-shirt, it's a whole outfit. The t-shirt has hidden pockets pockets here and hidden pockets here <laughs> with wires for your iPod. You can control your iPod right through the fabric. These pants are called the hidden cargo pants and they have 11 hidden pockets in a layered system. My wallet's over here. I hate sitting on my wallet. So it's just- You should sell this to kids. Well, we, we, we honestly, the, the, but the, to me, because kids, they, they love carrying their stuff and there's a lot of, you know, their, their clothing by nature always has pockets and stuff like that. This, you could, you really could blow this up into it. It started as, an, I don't want to say a novelty, as in, this thing could, could be hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, it's I actually, agree. it's a new way to dress, basically. You yeah. should actually coin a category term for it. It's not dressing and it's not... Um, the keeping of technology, it's... Gear management clothing, technology and Something sexier clothing. that. I, I would even call it uh, tech dressing or something. Something that basically makes the statement about yourself that I am the most cutting edge, forward thinking person. I'm the guy who knows the latest of the stuff. And, and that's what I kind of literally wrap myself in, figuratively and literally. Well, the end goal is to license to other companies like North Face and right. Patagonia to incorporate it's great. technology. It's great. Scott Jordan, man. A guy who said, I don't want to be a lawyer. I'm out of here, now I'm making my scared with that one. Get out of here.